Have you ever heard of an animal that can live a hundred years, cry like a baby, and grow as big as a monster? Welcome to the world of the Chinese giant salamander, the largest amphibian on the planet. This isn't just a bizarre creature, it's a piece of Chinese history and culture. But their future hangs in the balance. Once the kings of the rivers, giant salamanders are now found in only a few isolated areas. Habitat loss, pollution, and illegal hunting have pushed them to the brink. But what makes them so special? They can live up to 100 years, communicate with baby-like cries, and are almost blind, relying on touch and smell to survive. They're called wa wa yu, baby fish, because of their crying sounds. To save these animals, salamander farms have emerged. But these aren't your typical farms. They're more like five-star hotels for the pickiest amphibians. Salamanders need incredibly clean and cold water. The ideal temperature is between 64 and 72 degrees Fahrenheit, 18 to 22 degrees Celsius. The pH must be neutral, around 7.0, and dissolved oxygen levels high. Advanced water filtration systems remove ammonia and nitrites, which are toxic to salamanders. The water is constantly circulated to ensure purity. The tanks are designed with smooth, gently sloping bottoms to prevent injury. Rocks and shaded areas are provided so the salamanders feel secure. But is farming really the answer? Reproduction in captivity is a huge challenge. Farms have to create near-perfect conditions to stimulate mating. During the breeding season, August-September, the water temperature is lowered slightly to simulate the rainy season. Lighting is also adjusted to create a natural day-night cycle. Female salamanders lay eggs in rock crevices or artificial caves. The eggs are carefully collected and incubated in separate tanks with stable temperatures. The male salamander plays the role of a devoted father, guarding the eggs for up to six months, even eating infected ones to protect the healthy ones. From these eggs hatch larvae, and they need special attention during their first weeks before going to larger enclosures. Salamanders are carnivores, and they need a protein-rich diet. Farms provide small fish, worms, and specially formulated pellets. Food quantity is tightly controlled to avoid waste and water pollution. Leftover food is removed immediately. Thanks to good living conditions, salamanders on farms can reach adult size, three feet, one meter, within three to four years much faster than in the wild. However, rapid growth can lead to health problems. Farms need to monitor the salamander's health regularly and adjust their diet accordingly. Salamander meat is considered a delicacy and highly valued in traditional medicine. They can fetch hundreds of US dollars per kilogram. This creates an economic incentive to farm salamanders, but also the risk of over-exploitation. Salamander meat is prized in some regions of China for its unique flavor and texture. The meat is lean and often described as having a mild, slightly sweet taste, though it's the texture that many find most appealing. In Chinese cuisine, it's frequently slow-cooked in nourishing broths, braised with aromatic herbs and spices, or used in delicate soups believed to promote vitality. But the cultural appreciation for these amphibians doesn't stop in China. In certain parts of Japan, there's a lesser known but fascinating connection. While eating salamanders is not common, some communities hold local Shinto festivals where they give thanks for the blessings of the land, sometimes including symbolic gestures of respect towards local animal life, including salamanders. Salamanders have an extraordinary ability. They can regenerate lost limbs, Scientists are studying this mechanism to find ways to apply it to human healing. 
If we can unlock the secrets in the salamander's genes, we could find ways to stimulate cell regeneration in humans, helping heal wounds and even regenerate lost body parts. This is a promising area of research, and the Chinese giant salamander could be the key to unlocking new doors in medicine. The Chinese giant salamander needs our help. Learn more about this amazing animal, support conservation organizations, and choose sustainable products. Together, we can create a brighter future for these salamanders and our planet. Like, share this video, and subscribe to Jazz Farm to discover more about the world of animals. Did you know that an adult peacock can sell for hundreds of dollars? Not only are they valuable while alive, but preserved taxidermy specimens can increase their worth by three to four times. If you're looking to start a profitable farming business, discover the secrets to successful peacock farming in this video. Peacocks are not just symbols of beauty, they also bring huge economic value. The price of an adult peacock ranges from $200 to $800, with rare mutations fetching thousands. Peacock feathers are used for jewelry, decorations, and art. Peacocks are easy to raise, have low disease risk, and are suitable for farms, villa gardens, and ecotourism areas. Peacock taxidermy increases their value by three to four times, preserving their majestic beauty and shimmering tail. Beyond decoration, they symbolize wealth and luck. With lasting durability, they're a premium choice for luxury homes, hotels, and elite collectors. Here are three main peacock breeds. Indian Blue Peacock. Most common, easy to raise, moderately priced. Green Peacock. Rarer, vibrant colors, higher value. White Peacock. Genetic mutation, extremely rare, highest value. Choosing the best breed. Look for healthy chicks with bright eyes, smooth feathers, and active movement. Avoid chicks that are weak, limp, or have dull eyes. Spacious area. Each peacock pair needs at least 215 to 320 square feet of space. Flooring. Use sand or dry straw for hygiene. High fences, eight to 10 feet, to prevent peacocks from flying away. Provide greenery and shelter to create a natural environment. Ensure dry, well-ventilated enclosures, protected from cold drafts. Are you preparing to raise a new batch of peafowl? Don't forget to torch the floor and spread lime. The fire helps eliminate bacteria and parasites, while the lime disinfects and keeps the floor dry. This simple step will help your chicks stay healthy, with fewer diseases, and grow faster. A clean environment means healthy peafowl and higher profits. Make sure to prepare your farm well for success. Peacocks eat grains, greens, and small insects. Young chicks need chicken feed, vitamins, and minerals for faster growth. Adult peacocks can consume corn, rice, peanuts, and vegetables. Ensure a clean water supply, changing it daily to prevent digestive issues. Did you know adding eggs to peacock feed boosts their health? Eggs are rich in protein, vitamins, and calcium, helping chicks grow faster, strengthen immunity, and support strong bones. They also improve egg laying in females. Plus, eggs make peacock feathers shinier, smoother, and reduce shedding. Feed them right, and keep your peacocks healthy and stunning. Peacocks breed in spring, laying four to six eggs per clutch. Eggs can be naturally incubated or hatched using an incubator, set at 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit with 55 to 60% humidity. Newly hatched chicks are fragile and need constant warmth for the first week. After one month, chicks can forage and start flying. If you don't have a modern incubator, don't worry. There's a simple and effective trick. Let a hen hatch the peacock eggs. Hens have strong maternal instincts, keeping the eggs at a stable temperature and improving hatch rates. This also helps peahens conserve energy and lay more eggs sooner. Just choose a medium-sized hen, place the peacock eggs in a warm nest, and let her do the work. A small trick, but incredibly useful for peafowl farmers. Selling peacock chicks. One-month-old chicks sell for $40 to $120 each. Selling adult peacocks. Prices range from $200 to $800 plus per bird. Selling peacock feathers. Naturally shed feathers sell for $20 to $50 per set. Ecotourism farms. 
Attract visitors by showcasing peacocks. Building a brand on social media. Promote your peacock business through Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. Every year, male peacocks naturally shed their long, beautiful feathers after the mating season. This process allows them to grow new, vibrant feathers in preparation for the next breeding cycle. These naturally shed feathers are highly valuable and used in handicrafts, fashion accessories, home decor, and religious ceremonies. The price of a high-quality peacock feather set can range from $20 to $100, depending on size and quality. In ancient times, peacock meat was considered a luxury dish reserved for royalty and the elite, known for its rarity and high price. Today, while it is less common, peacock meat is still consumed in some regions and valued for its rich flavor. If you found this video helpful, like, share, and subscribe for more successful farming models.